I want to talk about technology. I mean, when you started a career, I started, and National Theatre School, the whole techno world did not really exist. How has that changed your approach to design or design in Canada? Truth be told, not a lot. I'm irretrievably old school, I think. <laughs> you know, in this, I'm hoping in the best way. But um, technology, I don't, it has not really had an enormous effect on, on my own sonography. Um, certainly not on what what I managed to put on the stage. But even in the method of, of, uh, of expressing it or drawing it, I mean, I, a, a lot of designers now, they use completely uh, computer-assisted drawing, which is great, and the drawings are very precise, and they're, you know... Sets or costumes? Sets. 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 Right. Um, they, they use a, a computer uh, CAD drawings, and, and it's great. Uh, but I did a CAD course, too, and then I, I looked at the drawings that I did using CAD, and they looked exactly like other people's drawings. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they, they were identical. And um, I spent years developing my drawing chops, you know what I mean, using, a, using like a 2H lead. And, uh, two H. Uh, well, yeah, two H lead <laughs> that I sharpen That's actually a techno term, using right? a sandpaper block. You know, like I, it's just because I started at art <laughs> school, you know, at school doing that, and now I have to do it. I mean, it's just a way that I start. But that's and, a bit like saying, "Well, I grew up on the abacus, so I'm not going to use a calculator." No, I don't think so, because I have my own reasons for doing it. It has to do with ritual. Okay. And it has to do with uh, getting ready to, and I also have to sharpen four pencils, not five or, or not three. It's got to be four. Okay. I mean, I have these. It's it's about ritual and habit. The, the, I find ritual very comforting. In a sense. But it's, would that be personal ritual? Would a, would a young designer have a have very their ritual with their CAD? I, I never with their CAD program. I wouldn't recommend that to anyone else. <laughs> it's just deeply personal ritual. The Michael Egan School of Design is well, sharpening the no, 2 age pencil. You must have things that you do too, you know. And also, uh, in my own drawings, I, I, I love to do them. I love to be at the drawing board with, with uh, a T-square and a set squares and a 2 age pencil. And, and I mean, I love, that's my favorite way to spend like a November afternoon say is my that's my favorite thing to do uh, and so I decided I'd it also when I when I get my drawings sometimes to shops you know when they finally get in people are working on my drawings and stuff they look at you in wonder and say are those hand drawings no I mean that's the kind of reaction it gets now so uh, people are very gratified to work on those kind of drawings so uh, I mean, I, and I, since I love doing them, why don't I just keep on doing it, right? And that's in the conception and, uh, of the design. But what yeah. about technology in what you can do on stage? I mean, that's different. I'm, I'm all for it. And I, uh, I don't employ an enormous amount of it in the work that I do. But I've seen some amazing uh, examples of, of scenographic, uh, te technical scenographic that knocked me on my on my f face you know because they were so I mean and do you do you use that I mean do you use projections and lasers and all projections from time to time but not a lot but I I, I mentioned earlier uh, Robert Lepage's production of Elsinore uh, which was uh, depended entirely on a kind of turnbuckle thing that that he had that they worked out at their shops in Deus Machina in uh, Quebec City that uh, was brilliant and I mean his new designs for uh, their, 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 his production of the ring cycle for the Metropolitan in New York is a, a series of 22 blades that turn on a, on a 
thing uh, that on a central axis that that people can walk over. I mean, it's the River Elbe or whatever, and it's the the thing, and it's the thing, and it's the other thing. You know what I mean? It's lit all differently. It's wonderful. Are there hydraulics or they're gear driven? Uh, I'm not sure, but it, it sh sh surely there's uh, hydraulics oh. involved. Because the uh, the Lord of the Rings set at in in uh, Royal Alex in Toronto, Mervish co-produced with an English yeah, producer. Yeah. I mean that was whatever forty to fifty million, and that was a set of intricate hydraulics and platforms yes. moving and changing. So, I mean, do you use this kind of? Well, ideas? I never I never work on th things <laughs> that have that kind of budget. You know, I mean, I haven't really done those kinds of. So it's out of the question. Um, but Lepage certainly does. And um, but he's he's invested himself in in develop in development of theater technology, and that's what they primarily do in in Quebec City, at their at La Caserne there. So I mean, it's only natural that he would use these ideas in his own uh, shows, which he does. Some of it is remarkably low tech. What what uh, he does on uh, on the stage. I mean, do you remember, um, did you ever see one that he did called The Anderson Project? No, I missed that. God, that was a great show. But not highly dependent on technology at all. I mean, it was simply, it had to do with rows of things, like rows of uh, phone booths, a row of uh, porno peep show booths, Another row of something in a, a, a line, you know, it had, it had all to do with rows of just rows of things that came on. In the, it was brilliant. It was brilliant, and very little tech to created it. Created mechanically through cutouts or sets, or created with projection. Mechanically. Okay. Mechanically. So it was great. So I mean, yay technology! I'm all for it, but I don't, I don't personally use an enormous amount. I still haven't exhausted the repertoire of old school <laughs> things. It's taken me all my life to, to, to develop a certain facility with, uh, with certain things. You know? And I still think like one of the oldest tricks in the book, like a, a translucent or transparent scrim, which is as old school as you can get, is one of the most effective devices that can, you can use on the stage. So I tend to, to gravitate towards those kinds of techniques. Um, and as I said, I, I seldom get uh, commissions that have huge, limitless budgets.